Pregame.com. It's obligatory. Every single golf discussion must include the Tiger. Teddy Covers and Pregame.com's golf expert Brady Cannon here on Pregame.tv. And yes, it's time to talk Tiger Woods. Now look, I'm a rank amateur. I know very, very little about golf, even less about betting golf. What's the state of he who is Tiger? You always have to talk about it, like you said. And, and no matter what Tiger is doing, he's always a compelling story. And his story is compelling as usual as we speak heading into U.S. Open Week. Um, we saw him do very well at the Masters, really exceed expectations. Um, he went and played the Memorial Jacks tournament. And, you know, he made the cut. He had a great round on Friday, showed some promise, and then came back on Saturday and shot the worst round of his life in competition. He shot an 85. He did better on Sunday, but was still over par with a 74. The short game that did not fail him at Augusta did fail him at the Memorial. And so it seems that part of his game has slipped again as it did early in the year that was really causing him a lot of his problems. Uh, the state of Tiger, I believe, continues to be in flux. It'll be interesting to see which guy shows up this week. I'm not sure it'll be the good one. Sure. Let me ask you this, because the Chambers Bay course, you know, 45 minutes south of Seattle, it's got very little rough. It's got these long rolling greens. It's almost the opposite of most U.S. Opens where you have tight fairways and a deep rush and these, you know, a deep uh, a rough, I should say, and these treacherous putting greens. Yeah, absolutely. It's much more like a British Open. It's, it's wide open. It's seaside. It's the rolling link style course that you see in Scotland and Ireland. And, and it's like that because it is right on a seaside. It's on the Puget Sound there, so they're able to kind of create that link style. Um, and we're used to U.S. Opens at Olympic Club in Oakmont where it's a fairway that's, you know, this wide and the rough is this high. And um, I believe those courses are harder for Tiger Woods. I believe this type of course does suit Tiger Woods better. But the question is, it suits the old Tiger. I don't know if anything suits the new Tiger as the new Tiger has become very erratic. Well, it doesn't sound like you are particularly confident in Tiger Woods' chances this weekend. So let me ask you this. What's the best way to make money betting against Tiger Woods? Yeah, and, you know, the odds maker is not stupid. He knows he, he's going to make you pay a price if you're going to bet against Tiger. So you're going to have to lay long odds uh, on Tiger to miss the cut. But I do believe that is a good bet to make. I don't know if Tiger, there's going to be a ton of walking on this course. They say this course is equivalent to walking 10 miles and up 70 stories. Okay, can you handle that over four days along with an erratic golf game on a U.S. Open difficulty type course? I don't know if Tiger's ready for that. I would bet for him to miss the cut. Um, I would also probably bet against him in match. But again, you're going to have to pay a price. I've seen Billy Horschel and Brooks Kepka uh, paired against Tiger in individual matchups, both 190, Tiger taking back plus 165. As juicy as that sounds, plus 165 on Tiger Woods, I can't do it. I don't blame you. Brady Cannon says Tiger not particularly live to have a good showing in the U.S. Open this weekend. Thanks for watching Pregame.tv.